Dance has been absolutely vital during this time. Kinetic Dance Theater was forced to close our doors um, when the pandemic hit. Hi there, I'm Liz Quinones, the Artistic Director of Kinetic Dance Theater. And I'm Alex Krebs, the Associate Artistic Director of Kinetic Dance Theater. From here, staying as compact as possible, so all I have to do is shift that pelvis and pass through here. As you can see, we are inside our studio, fully masked, and just coming out of a Kinetic Dance Company rehearsal. You're gonna go left, right, left, then you're gonna go right, left, right, for those of you who are unaware, Kinetic Dance Theater is a three-part nonprofit organization that houses a professional dance company, a school of contemporary dance, and a student performing youth ensemble. We're really excited to be bringing the company to Baltimore Fest. Um, we believe and support the mission to uh, perform and pay a tribute to our first responders and everyone who has helped us get through this really tough time. There. My name is Laura Murphy and I am very excited to be part of the upcoming Baltimore Fest in August. This is such a wonderful opportunity to give back to all of our first line workers who have been working you know, so hard throughout this really trying time to really help us come through and help us survive and do our best work back in a more normal society. So I have been dancing since I was three years old and it's really caught on to be my passion. It really you know, gives me a drive each day. It gives me something to look forward to, something to do in a very healthy way you know, to express myself and get out there and you know, get active. So I began when I was very young. When I was in school, I ended up studying biology with a second major in dance choreography and performance because it's just something that's so integral to my work and something I love and care so deeply about. I work at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, so there I do research into the mechanobiome and cell mechanics. And so I see firsthand both the research side, but also with the hospital right across the street, you know, all the workers, pulmonary, critical, you know, anesthesiologists, everyone who's been working so hard really to bring us back to the sense of normal, to help us see, you know, a better tomorrow. And so it's been remarkable. My sister is a paramedic firefighter. She's been working, you know, day and night, 24 hour shifts plus the other attacks on, you know, after that. So it's really an incredible opportunity and I'm so excited to be able to support this cause and to be a part of Baltimore Fest coming up in August. Hi, my name is uh, Kelly Moore. I am a dancer for Genetics Kinetics Dance Company. Um, I auditioned and got in. This is my first year. Uh, very exciting. Um, I have always wanted to dance. I love dancing and it just keeps me, you know, really moving forward. It keeps me really connected with my body and helps this ever-changing kind of dynamic with my body, especially during COVID when I wasn't really able to like get out and do anything and it felt very isolating. I was able to like build this relationship with my body that was much more positive than it had been in the past through dance. Um, and so I just want to thank all the first responders that have worked so, so hard during this um, COVID-19 season. Um, thank you for getting us this far because we could not have done it without you. My name is Angela Stein. I'm a member of the Kinetics Dance Company. I've been a dancer since I was a little girl and I've been with Kinetics since 2007. And I'm super excited to take part of the uh, Baltimore Fest on August 7th. I am a licensed massage therapist and I love that we are giving back to frontline workers and healthcare workers that have made it through such a remarkable time. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Wilson and I'm a member of the Kinetics Dance Company. Dance is something that's always been really great for my mental health as well as my physical well-being, especially during COVID. And because we're finally able to return to the studio and be in space and we're finally safe to do that because of the efforts of our first responders, we're honored to be a part of Baltimore Fest Music and Arts Festival. We'd love to see you August 7th at the Chrysalis.